What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a new setup that I wanted to show you here. The Storm Nemesis, which is a very interesting setup. Although I can show you a compilation here, there's going to be two very good sequences of the Storm Nemesis in this video. Starting off, however, with the Raven, Halo, and uh, Corona. Also a very interesting setup. Unfortunately, I messed up my starting jump. I wanted to land on the platform and not below, uh, but unfortunately, I messed it up a little bit. Now I took a little bit of extra damage but it's okay what I really need to do is get first be the first on the beacon and then obviously take it away and lock down this uh, pursuer if possible very important because if he had gotten this beacon uh, this this would have been a short match we need to have this on beacon rush right we can't allow them to have it so we're already already halfway down and I'm now jumping in I really want that uh, pursuer killed I don't want him to stealth again and now with last stand we can kill that enemy raven very fast uh, otherwise we would have probably been dead by now but so I activated repair and if you think that's it no 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 we're still not dead guys we're almost dead but not quite uh, this Lancelot is reloading it seems and we're running through his physical shield really fast and there he goes I was actually shooting past his physical shield to the left right this is where you can deal free damage on a Lancelot immediately without having to go through the physical shield first so I thought hey maybe I could use the uh, cover to my advantage here but then I noticed maybe I should just heal and walk over there maybe it's the better choice somebody's coming over there let's see what it is uh, okay it's an Ao Guang with three scourges so what I do I jump down and uh, I know now he's resistant but I can kill him very fast once his resistance is down which is exactly now wait for it wait for it with 18,000 HP that we have boom 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 I healed up once and then we kill uh, the Ao Guang super fast lock down the Leo on the bridge and deal a lot of damage to him as well and uh, yeah, so that was the Raven with uh, Halo and Corona. Really interesting. Let's use the Falcon to get the center beacon, if possible, right? That's what I'm trying to do here. I need to get that center beacon back, so I'm using my Falcon for it. And once I have the Falcon, we're gonna see what the thumbnail and the topic of the video is. Uh, namely, uh, the the storm nemesis it's really strong I must say I wasn't uh, I didn't expect that because you can even use it very well at long range because of the built-in rockets so we're first killing the inquisitor making sure he's not gonna have another stealth jump and while everybody and their mother is shooting us right now uh, we're, we're trying to survive for as long as possible heal back counter healing activated and uh, yeah so physical shield is nothing we have but we have resistance on the falcon uh, and this is how we survive long enough to capture this beacon while he's reloading Whew. thank goodness that was close we are very low on health i'm trying to hit that raven or griffin with a perfect shot of the um of the thermite because he was jumping but unfortunately i don't know it didn't work right Okay, so let's walk in one last attempt or one last action. We're running in now with only 15,000 health and trying to get this guy destroyed. Activating healing one last time because I noticed I actually have a chance to get this sniper and that's something I should be doing, so here we go. Boom. Now the Spectre is there. I've got 47,000 health. He's gonna shoot me now. Boom. That takes 20,000 off me and I'm now being destroyed. But this is a good thing because we're now jumping into the topic of the video, the Storm Nemesis, okay? Here we go. Now, I couldn't do anything with a Storm against this Galahad, but I can activate the built-in rocket salvo and just deal a lot of damage to him from here while having a shield that protects me at the same time. And look, we have 240,000 health. Doing the same thing again, serious damage done to this Galahad while he can't even deal any real damage back to me while I'm shielded. And there is a uh, Bulgazari over to the left and I got 500 meters range with these rockets. And I think that these rockets are actually stronger than Tulumbas are. Two Tulumbas would not deal as much damage as these built-in rockets have because you regenerate them so fast. So much faster than, re than Tulumbas would regenerate, right? And with this, and here comes what, here's the reason why I think Storm is an excellent combination. The reason I use Storm and not Corona is because Storm brings down energy shields. And with this you can then make use of your rocket salvo, right? Otherwise my rockets wouldn't make any sense against this, um, this Haichi at the distance, right? 
So, I'm using the storm shots. You already see them flying towards the Haichi. I'm using the storm to deplete the shields very fast. And then I'm using the rockets afterwards to deal damage directly, right? I think that's a lot better as a combination than running Corona and, uh, and these rockets here. Doing the same thing again, bringing down his shield. And then being allowed to do the full damage on him with a rocket salvo. And you see down, down in the bottom it says Retribution Mark II killed the enemy. That means that the build in rockets of this robot did the, the thing and got the kill right everything within 500 meters can be hit energy shields and Aegis shields will be depleted and taken down immediately by the storms so that the rockets can come in and do what they're supposed to do a lot of damage all right bringing up the shield again and sending the additional rockets now and you see this bull this bull Gazari takes a huge amount of damage from this because these rockets deal a really decent amount of damage and you see we are still almost full right I have a healing module even that I could use that I didn't even use yet and we're almost full still I'm bringing up the energy shield here to uh, shield myself from the incoming Tulumbas and Corona and even now still the Spectre hasn't done a really a, any real damage to us bringing up the shield again because you can do it all the time you have a very short cooldown and that is half the Spectre or more than half the Spectre already done right now unfortunately a sniper spawns before us but I can once again activate the shield and we still have the same 192,000 HP that we had before however this time I use the healing module once right do you know how many enemies we have already killed through how many enemies we have already worked ourselves through? We've captured their beacon, we have eliminated the Bulgazari, the Galahad, the Haichi, the Bulwark, the Spectre. Five enemies already taken down and that is the godlike I think. And uh, now we're, we're not finished yet, we're still full. We're still a full robot, so if you have one-on-ones against enemies, I think that the Nemesis with Storm can be quite a monster. And also keep one more thing in mind, guys. Um, if somebody would ever get close to you, you still have uh, enough fa passive modules to have last stand if you want that. And you still have Storms. Storms will wreck this guy. The guy who gets close to you gets wrecked by these Storms, right? So it's a really interesting combo, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I think uh, definitely something I may try a few more times, right? Let's jump into the next battle right away, here on Beacon Rush on Valley, and use the Raven for what it's supposed to do. I have Battleborn on it, that means I'm taking less damage. I was told by viewers it's not 50%. It's apparently only 30 or 40% of damage resistance, is that true? Uh, that would make Battleborn a really bad module, by the way, because it's already a bad module, because it only lasts 20 seconds, and it can't be used if you're spawning now and have the full 10 seconds spawn in duration, then you have already wasted 10 seconds from the countdown of the battle in the beginning. Also, a really th a thing Pixonic should uh, do something about but you see right now we're on the beacon with a storm nemesis and we're using this energy shield to block the damage we're using the storms once again to get through the Ansel shield and the energy shield of the Haichi and uh, and then we're flattening uh, the Lancelot here he would be almost impossible to kill because of his Ansel shield but with the built-in storm, or with the storms that we have, we take care of the Ansel Shield no problem, and then the rockets have a free way to go. Yeah, so, um, Battleborn, in my opinion, if it's true that it doesn't even give you 50% resistance for these ridiculous 20 seconds, then please don't ever consider going for this module. Don't ever consider it. It's not worth it. Fully max level, and it still sucks. Uh, because... First, as I said, uh, the the battle countdown before the battle starts. When you spawn in with your robot, you already tick down your ba your resistance. You must imagine that already takes your your 20 seconds of the battle born away. What a horrible thing! Uh, and then secondly, after it's gone, it's a wasted module slot, and it doesn't give you any bonus or any benefit, right? Uh, while any other module would st stay active for you, even passive modules would stay active in their effects, uh, the Battleborn is simply deactivated after 20 seconds and there's nothing for you anymore. So Battleborn really the loser of the day when it comes to the modules in my opinion. Especially if you're right guys and it doesn't even give you 50% damage resistance. 
I think uh, the 50% damage resistance should be there. That's the only way this uh, module has any purpose. And secondly, it shouldn't tick down during a battle countdown in the beginning. That needs to be fixed ASAP. It's very important. Otherwise, no one is going to ever buy this. It's not, it's not good otherwise. So, we've gotten rid of a lot of enemies here, ladies and gentlemen, with this uh, Falcon, of course, as usual. Spawning here on the beacon to prevent the beacon cap. Uh, but I think in this case, it was already, you know, taken care of. I'm shielding my buddy right here with the, uh, with the, um, Hades shield. The Hades shield, uh, that lasts for 8 seconds completely. Complete invincibility for 8 seconds. And we've gotten already two guys killed, and we're full on HP still. And only 7 seconds for the next use of the shielding. Isn't that ridiculous? Shouldn't that be longer? I think it should. I think it really should. So here we are with the next, uh, here we are now, entertain us! No, here we are now, let's, with the next ability, use getting the next double kill. And without quoting Nirvana anymore, let's get going. Get this Haichi destroyed before last stand triggers, godlike already achieved. And, uh, uh, uh yeah. Keeping on, keeping on. I'm on a plane. I can't complain. Oh, wait a minute. Why am I quoting Nirvana still? Let's get, go, get going. We have this Haichi being killed to the left, and we have a bulwark to our front. That's pretty strong to beat. And the, oh man, the last stand was triggered before, and that was my demise. If the last stand hasn't been, wouldn't have been triggered before I activated my shield before, I would have been able to just walk in there and kill, uh, or at least de deal a massive damage to uh, the bulwark, maybe kill him, and even activate another shielding afterwards, right? So that's the big thing. When you have last stand, it buys you this extra time for another 8 seconds of invulnerability afterwards with the Ares, where you can use the built-in weapons again. And that's why last stand on the Ares is as probably as as overpowered as it gets right now on the game and this Ares here does not have last stand this is just a sniping Ares with as much damage output as possible but the match is over and I really just wanted to show you really the uh, storm uh, storm Nemesis. I think it's a very interesting setup, one that is worth considering to test, right? Once in a while, maybe during live streams. And also, you've seen the Halo and Corona uh, Raven. Interesting thing as well. Now, Pixonic, please take care of the uh, the Battleborn. I, I think it shouldn't be that the countdown already starts ticking uh, on your Battleborn 20 seconds, which is a very valuable 20 seconds when you're in the battle countdown in the beginning uh, before the battle starts. Try to fix that, please. Least. It's really annoying and uh, I don't think it's intended, right? It wouldn't make sense if it was intended and um, Yeah, although in that I think 50% resistance is probably correct on the Battleborn when it comes to balancing in my opinion Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below And if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more Thanks for bearing with you, you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off. Bye. Bye